Every ship at sea faces the constant challenge of balancing forces from waves, wind, and currents. These forces create six unique motions that determine how a ship moves and reacts in different conditions. This video will provide a clear and detailed explanation of the following motions. Roll Pitch Yaw Surge Sway And heave Breaking down their causes, effects, and differences. The six motions of a ship occur primarily along three axes of motion. The longitudinal axis, also known as the fore and aft axis, is commonly referred to as the x axis. The transverse axis, also known as the port and starboard axis, is commonly referred to as the y axis. Lastly, the vertical axis, also known as the up and down axis, is commonly referred to as the z axis. All six motions of the vessel take place along or around these three axes. Let's start with the ship's motion known as roll. Roll is the tilting motion of a ship from side to side, port to starboard, around its longitudinal axis, also known as the fore and aft axis, or x axis. This motion is caused by waves acting on the beam, the side of the ship. Roll typically occurs when a ship is broadside to waves, causing it to tilt alternately toward the port and starboard sides. The extent of this motion is measured in degrees. The next motion of a ship is pitch. Pitch is the up and down tilting motion of the ship, around its transverse axis, the port to starboard axis, or the y axis. This motion occurs when waves strike the ship head on or from the stern. A ship experiences pitch when navigating through head seas, with the bow rising on a wave crest and then falling into a trough. It is measured in degrees to quantify the angle of tilt between the bow and stern relative to the horizontal plane. The next motion of the ship is yaw. Yaw is the side to side motion of the ship about its vertical axis, or z axis. This motion is caused by uneven forces acting on the bow or stern, such as waves or rudder adjustments. Yaw represents the angular deviation of the ship's heading around its vertical axis, or z axis. It is measured as the angle between the ship's current heading and its intended or reference course, so the unit of measurement is in degrees. The next motion of the ship is surge. Surge is the forward and backward motion of the ship along its longitudinal axis, or x-axis. This motion is primarily caused by changes in speed or thrust, such as when the engine accelerates or decelerates or engine power variation, and due to large waves or wave impact on the bow or stern. A ship surges when encountering head seas, as waves alternately push and resist the vessel's forward motion. The unit measurement of surge for the linear forward or backward motion along the x-axis can be meter, centimeter, or millimeter. But for the unit of velocity, it can be meter per second, centimeter per second, or millimeter per second. Another motion of the ship is sway. Sway is the side-to-side -side motion of the ship along its transverse axis, the port and starboard axis, or along the y-axis. This is often caused by lateral forces like wind or currents acting on the side of the hull. A ship also sways when it experiences crosswinds or maneuvering sideways in a harbor using thrusters. The unit measurement of sway is the same as surge. And the last motion of the ship is heave. Heave is the vertical motion of the ship along its vertical axis, the up and down axis, or the z axis. It is caused by the lifting and falling effect of waves. A ship experiences heave when sailing through a high swell, as it is lifted by the crest and drops into the trough of a wave. The unit measurement is the same as surge and sway. That's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful, see you in my next video, thank you for watching, bye.